Hi, I'm Gary Keneal, United Nations Resident Coordinator for the Multi-Country Office of Jamaica. It's a great pleasure to share on behalf of all my colleagues of the United Nations Country Team as we launch 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. Since 1991, this period which runs from November 25th, date of the International Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women, to December 10, which marks Human Rights Day, has been devoted to public activism and in-depth reflection on the specific actions we all can take to prevent and eliminate the scourge of violence and abuse of women and girls. This assignment could not be more urgent. Gender-based violence and the pervasive nature across cultures and backgrounds is fatal to the principle of equality between women and men and is fatal to our human dignity. That is why this year's global theme calls us to unite for activism to end violence against women and girls. The UN Women Multi-Country Office of the Caribbean has further identified a regional theme, honoring grassroots feminist movements, radical grounding in the elimination of violence against women and girls, activism in the Caribbean, which sets out to honor the importance of women's movements as powerful means of preventing and ending violence against women and girls in our region. The United Nations in Jamaica will continue to do its part working closely with the government and key stakeholders to ensure that reliable data is available for decision-making, support legislative and policy positions to address violence against women and girls and family violence, while enhancing response services and care for GBV survivors in the health, security, justice, and of course, social sectors. We are in this fight alongside you and will also continue our work with civil society and women's movements to ensure that community leaders remain empowered to design and implement programs that respond to violence against women and girls and address toxic masculine behaviors that have unfortunately become too acceptable in our communities. GBV disproportionately impacts many vulnerable communities. The UN in Jamaica will continue to support groups such as persons living with HIV, persons living with disabilities, rural women among others, ensuring that no one is left behind as we work to eliminate violence against women and girls in Jamaica. The next 16 days will be a special time for all women rights defenders around the world to demonstrate our collective and individual commitment and determination to work together against all forms of gender-based violence and discrimination. And because these violations often manifest themselves in the privacy of the womb, away from the public eye, the pain they cause are too often unaddressed and sadly, often ignored. But the cowardice of this violence behind closed doors must not keep us from acting. On the contrary, we must redouble our efforts to give this challenge all the attention it deserves by making it the subject of real collective awareness and conversation. For violence against women and girls to end, we must denounce it more and more forcefully and publicly. We must prevent it from happening with impunity out of sight. We must take it out of the silence in which it retreats, protected by the shame that often overwhelms victims, unjustly made guilty by facts which dishonor their authors. The truth is, in the crime of violence, there is no private sphere. The fight against violence against women requires us to act wherever dignity, morality, and the law require it. It requires governments, civil society, women's organizations, youth, the private sector, the media, development partners, regional and global organizations, all of us to join forces if we are to address permanently and irreversibly the pervasiveness of violence against women and girls. This is the true meaning of activism. And we at the United Nations are committed to this fight. And for the sake of our mothers, sisters, aunts, friends, communities, I invite you to join the fight as well within these 16 days and well beyond. Thank you so much for your time.